Hey, Sam. All right, I'm getting ready to do the video for you, hon. Now, when you first start a project, you'll have a tail. And the best thing to do is take that tail, hold it against your work. This way you don't have too many tails. And then you work your tail into your project. So, what I'm going to do, since I'm working on this tiny little hat, I'm going to chain one and tighten up that loop there. And then I am going to do a row of single crochet working the little tail in with the project. This way it hides the tail, and you don't have to worry about weaving it in later. Just work your tail in. <laughs> when you're working on a small, tiny project like this, sometimes the chains are hard to see. Now, when you're doing this, you don't have to have too long of a tail. You can have like a like a two inch tail, and then you can just weave it in there. Less for you to have to worry about later. What I'm going to do is I am going to work this real quick. Try doing this. Trying to do this without the cats around. <laughs> Not an easy thing to do. is working the tail into the project has been so much easier for me when I do my projects. So I thought I'd show you how to do this. And then once I get this little ruffle for this little hat done, I will show you how to finish the thing and tie it off. Tying it off will be a real easy thing. I have created a really good technique to uh, tie off. Now when you get to like the end of the tail here, you don't have to worry about weaving that in too much more. Mm -hmm. That little piece, since your main, since the main part of the tail is already stuck under all of your stitches, that little piece you can cut off later. Just... 
Yes, that's my cats you hear yelling in the background. Once I finish this row, I will be able to uh, tie it off. A real simple way of doing it. Alrighty, almost to the end. One more single crochet. Now, where I did that first single crochet right here, I am going to do a slip stitch. And pull through. Now, I'm going to leave a bit of a tail. At least a two inch tail, maybe a little bit more. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to. There. Now, put your little tail in your needle before you do the next step. Okay, maybe depending on all right now before you bring as you're bringing it through well before you bring it through take your needle Stick it through this loop right here that you got on your hook. Pull it all, pull it through. Now. And pull it tight on your hook. Okay, that didn't quite work the way I did it earlier. Come on. Work for me. Alright, there we go. Oh, nope, still didn't work. Come on. <laughs> something. There we go. Come on. Come on. I just want to get you through the loop. There we go. Now. And then you just
take this, pull that tight, and then keep that way you have a nice tight little loop and then you just weave it in and it will not unravel. It took me a little time to figure this out before I even got it correct. <laughs> but, yep, that's all you do. And that little knot will not come out once you finish your project. There you go. That should help you. All right. Let me know if it helps you.